is Lord of Lords, King of Kings. Peter's Sermon at Pentecost. But Peter, standing with the eleven, lifted up his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea, all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and give ear to my words. For these people are not drunk, as you suppose, since it is only the third hour of the day. But this is what was uttered through the prophet Joel. And in the last days it shall be, quote, and in the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, even on my male servants and my female servants. In those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in the heavens above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and vapour of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness, and the moon to blood, before the day of the Lord comes, the great, mag the great and magnificent day. And it shall come to pass that everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I call upon the name of the Lord our God, Jehovah Jireh, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. I call upon your holy name to save my soul, forgive me my sins, and allow me into heaven when I die. I call upon your holy name, Lord God, to guide me for eternity and be with me always. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords, King of Kings. Men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs that God did through him in your midst. As you yourselves know, this Jesus, delivered up according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men. God raised him up, losing the pangs of death because it was not, not possible for him to be held by it. For David says concerning him, quote, I saw the Lord always before me, for he is at my right hand that I may not be shaken. Therefore my heart was glad and my tongue rejoiced. My flesh also will dwell in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to Hades, or let, or let your holy ones see corruption. You have made, made known to me the paths of life. You will, give me, you, will get, you will make me full of gladness with your presence. Please, Lord God, Almighty Father Abba, save me from hell, save me from Hades, and please allow me into heaven when I die. I call upon your holy name, Lord God, to save me from hell and to allow me into heaven when I die. Amen. Brothers, I may... End quote. End quote before I set my little prayer. Brothers, I may say to you with confidence about the patriarch, David, that he both died and was buried, and his tomb is with us to this day. Being therefore a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him that he would set one of his descendants on the throne, he foresaw and spoke about the resurrection of the Christ, that he was not abandoned to Hades, nor did his flesh see corruption. This Jesus God raised up, and of that we are all witnesses. Being therefore exalted at the right hand of God, and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he has poured out this that you yourselves are seeing and hearing. For David did not ascend into the heavens, <coughs> but he himself says, quote, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, sit at my right hand, until I make your enemies your footstool. End quote. Let all the house of Israel therefore Therefore, know certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and said to Peter, and to the rest of the apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptised, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, for the promises for you, and for the children and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. And with many other wor words he, he bore witness, and continued to exhort them, saying, Save yourselves from this crooked generation. So those who received this word were baptized, and there were added this day about three thousand souls, three thousand souls saved in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ Almighty, please save every soul on this earth, Lord Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Amen.